Now, as you use your legs, stick your hands in the swimming pool. Get your hands wet before the club head. Stick your hands in the pool. Ask him to hit one, Blair. Hit one, Mini Mart. Look at wow. that. Look at that. So I had the image of cupping it going back, and I would send the butt of the club right down to my boot. As I keep going through, I'm turning, I'm turning. I want the shadow of my left hip to disappear. Oh, baby! Very nice. Look at that. Thank Ooh. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. You will notice that he's parallel to these railroad tracks. Now I've had the chance to ask in person Jack Nicholas, Tom Watson, and the king himself, is it important to stay still to keep the head still? And it's a resounding yes. So if you're out there wobbling around too much, take notice of the king. You need to stop that right away. Unbelievable, Martin. Some of the most memorable moments from the last 13 years, and it is absolutely an incredible milestone. 400 episodes. Yeah, I actually can't That's believe huge. it. I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> believe it. But in this episode, our 400th episode, we're bringing back some of our best guests, our coolest tips, some of my favorite drills. Yes. Might even have a couple of newbies. You Ooh, never okay. know. Might have a real good one all to help you play better golf. Dallas, ER, Friends, so many all-time great television series have nothing on School of Golf. 400 episodes and counting, Martin. Now, in your wildest dreams, did you ever imagine that we would make it here? Uh, not on any planet would I think I could have made 400. 400 is I thought amazing. I might do eight. When well, I started, I might do eight. We're way beyond eight. We, <laughs> we certainly are. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just been a thrill. And I wanted to try and do something very special in this show to, to celebrate 400 shows. Let's do it. Um, and I, I came up with a drill really for this show, but I've been using it teaching at home at Ibis. And it's teaching Polly to fly. Fly, Polly, fly. Okay. Uh, which we'll get to that in a moment, because it pretty much fixes any follow-through fault you might have. I wanted to start this because, you know, those of you that have watched us a long time know that I'm very serious about the education. There's the entertainment, but there's the education. Yes. And I want to start with a quote from a man called Richard Schmidt, motor skill expert, motor skill learning expert. And Richard Schmidt said this, motor learning expert, he said, skill consists in the ability to bring about some end result with maximum certainty some end result with maximum certainty. That's when you know you've changed something. And he said, look, if you're really going to learn to do something, you need a fact, you need a picture, you need a feel. You need the facts, what am I doing wrong? You need a picture, what should I be doing? And you need a feel. So that's where I came up with fly, poly, fly. So I would say across the board, unless it's a professional golfer that I'm working with, just about everybody suffers with lack of extension through the ball. That's the fact. You know, the club doesn't go out far enough, the arms bend too much, the wrists give too much. What does that fix? Oh, it fixes, if you get this right, it fixes slices, it fixes hooks, it fixes fat, it fixes thin. This is a drill you could and should do at home. And I call this drill a fly, poly, fly, because Polly is here. There we go. <laughs> and we're going to try and make Polly fly. So what I've got here is a couple of shafts connected to this spoon, pool noodle with a couple of magnets. And Polly is going to sit on top. Aren't you, Polly? You be a good girl now. Stay there, Polly. Now, if I was to follow through properly, I would actually send Polly up into the air. <laughs> Polly would fly. And when I do this drill and I set people up, I say, take your lead arm. Can you reach the pool noodle? Yes, no problem. They think that's not going to be a problem. Yet when they go and hit the ball, almost always, they are short of that distance. They don't get far enough forward. They don't shift the weight far enough forward. They don't keep the arms straight enough through the ball. And Polly does not fly. Well, this is the day that Polly flies, because I said so. So here's the drill, and I do hope you do this or some version of this at home. I've got a pool noodle on two shafts or whatever you would support it with. I take my lead arm and I just put the toe of the club slightly under the pool noodle. If I swim with any speed, if she's a good girl, Polly will fly. 
So I'm not going to take a big swing, but I'm working on extension. I'm not going to be backing up with no weight shift. I'm not going to be pulling the arms in around it. The fact, most people need more extension. The picture, make Polly fly. The feel, Davis Love told me that he felt after he hit the ball as if his arms came out of his shoulder sockets. Okay, now, can Polly fly? That is the question. Here we go. Polly flies! <laughs> Polly does fly! <laughs> now, that's not easy to do, and most times when people try it, they come short. It, you know, any, any version of that drill would be really good to do, but the feeling of the extension of the ball is spectacular. Great extension. Yeah, I'd Good repeat that Davis Love said to me, it's as if the arms are coming out of the shoulder sockets, and I would want everybody who watches School of Golf to try and do some version of that. Great drill there, Martin. I know that's going to help everybody at home. All right, well, we couldn't celebrate such a special episode of School of Golf without right or... Rubbish! <laughs> so I've got a statement for you, Martin, okay? Are you hey, ready? I'm ready. All right, do not finish with a reverse C. Is that right or rubbish? I would absolutely conclude, after years of looking at it, that is rubbish! 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 You need some amount of reverse C as you go through the golf ball. Okay. Now, you might stay there too long at the finish, that's possible, but I'd rather have too much reverse C than no reverse C. So, what people call the reverse C is really extension of the spine. So these are what I call post-poly pointers. Okay. After poly has flown, it would be important that you tuck your hips, and point your chest somewhat to the sky. So there's, there's certainly a phase in the forward swing, even a bit more with the club head up to the sky than that. Up. Okay. So you're turning through. The belt buckles forwards. Buckle before buttons, as we've said a number of times on School of Golf. But tuck the hips and get the chest or the heart pointing up to the sky. You may eventually come out of that, but I like to see some reverse C at some point in the swing. Okay. I think if you don't, you're giving up power and probably pulling the swing off to the left. So, Blair, I'd like you to come round here. All right. I'll just clear out Polly's perch just a little bit. Just get <laughs> out of the way. Um, I'm going to put on a tee, make it nice and easy for you. There we go. I want to practice swing and I want you to think of what I'd call tucking the hips. Tucking the hips would be this. If I'm bent forwards and I do that, I would say I've tucked my hips underneath my shoulder. Okay. I want you to tuck your hips as you turn and point your heart to the sky. Let's get to the heart of the matter. Okay. Point Feel the that. heart to the sky. Very good for power, very good for direction, that's all, nothing very important. Here, <laughs> Here we go. Tuck the hips, stay there, stay there. And Blair has always done, not difficult for her, but there is an element of a reverse C. And there should be an element of a reverse C. And trying to keep the chest down at the finish, that would be rubbish. That's right, Martin, rubbish right there. And up next, we're learning from the legendary guests that we've had on School of Golf. Martin, can you name a couple? Oh, well, we've had so many, you know. So many. Dave Stockton, Tom Watson, Nick Faldo, Stacey Lewis, Brittany Lindsay Combs. The list goes on and yeah, on. Yeah, so, so many. But in the next, uh, next piece, I'm picking, picking our best three. The okay. very best of the guests we've had on School of Golf. Hey, Martin and Sonica here. Just want to congratulate you on your 400th episode of School of Golf. That's amazing. Keep up the good work. I think you're a great instructor, and your tips is good for anybody of any skill level. Thank you.